Hi everybody, it's Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company and I've got a fun project for you today. I am calling this the Friendship Pinwheel because it's got that great pinwheel in the center with an essence of a friendship star around it and I just think it's a really fun, fun block. So to make this quilt, what you're going to need is one packet of 10 inch squares and we have used this darling line called Offshore by Dina Rudder for Riley Blake and you're going to need one pack also of white 10 inch squares or you can use yardage and it's going to be about two and three quarter yards of fabric for your yardage. So let me show you how to do this because this is really fun. So what we're going to do first is you're going to choose three contrasting squares and one of these squares is going to be your pinwheel. So whichever square you decide you want to be your pinwheel, set that aside. We're going to use our um, our boats. That's going to be a nice pinwheel right there. And we're going to stack our two squares on top of each other like this. Now what we're going to do is we're going to cut them right in half. So we've got five inches right here, right in half. And then we're going to be sewing them together this way. So we need to take a half an inch off for seam allowance so they remain square. So we're going to line these back up turn them and cut a half an inch off the bottom. So right here on the bottom of these we're going to take a half an inch just like this. Now with our last square, we're just going to set these aside for a minute, with our last 10 inch square we are going to cut that in half uh, and in half again. So we're making four or five inch squares out of that. So I'm going to line up my ruler here along the edge and get a nice five inch cut right here and then I'm going to flip them and cut them again so I get four or five inch squares. This is going to be our pinwheel block, our pinwheel square right here and we're going to set those aside and we're going to cut our background fabrics. So here's our background fabrics. You also need three of those. Now if you're doing yardage on this you can go ahead and cut strips that are, already, that are just five inch strips. I mean, that would be a real easy way for you to do it. Um, I have mine in squares already, so what I'm going to do is the same thing I did with my three colored blocks. I'm going to take two of these and I'm going to cut them in half, just in half like this. And I'm going to trim a half an inch off the bottom. Exactly what we did with the other set, we're going to do our background set as well. So here we've got this with our half an inch off and that's just to make sure that when we sew them together our block stays square. So again now these are going to go in one pile and then this one is going to be cut in fourths just like uh, one of our colored pieces is, one of our printed pieces. And again I'm going to use my ruler, line it up on the edge and then turn it and cut it again. and you get four or five inch squares just like that. So we're going to set these aside. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take our pieces right here and there should be two colors. So we have this little plaid and this little uh, beach scene here and we're going to snowball the top of these. And by snowballing I mean we're going to put a, a corner on one side. What I'm doing now is I'm giving a little bit of a press to these squares so that I have a sew line. You know, a lot of times I'll eyeball that sew line across the edge of my square, and um, which works great for smaller squares, but when you get up to a five inch square, my eye gets a little crazy sometimes and I don't always get in a straight line. So I'm just going to give a little press to these because what we're going to do is we're going to lay our piece up here like this. And actually I want to lay it this way. And, um, and that actually doesn't really matter. That's just my directional thing that I'm doing right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew this across here like this. And, um, and I'm going to do that to all four of my colors even though they're different prints. So let's go to the sewing machine and do that. We're sewing right on that press line. And this is what's going to make our pinwheel block. So it's going to come together really fun. All right, we're right on that line, sewing across, and when I get to the end here, because this is such a big piece, I'm actually just going to whip it around and sew it again. 
Now you don't have to do this. This is not part of this quilt pattern, but I can't hardly stand to leave that much fabric there uh, going to waste. So I'm just like taking about a half an inch and then I will put these in a baggie for some other project that I'm gonna do sometime because what I'm looking at is I wanna do, I want this to be snowballed. I'm trimming this right here. And you can do this with your rotary cutter or your scissors because this is what we're looking for. This is the piece we wanna see right here. And, um, but, but now I have this cool little fat quarter and I have no idea what I'm gonna do with this, but I'm gonna have a whole bunch of them if I do that. And that's just a great way to save some time for another project because there's so many things you can do with half square triangles. And we could have actually added that in a border or something like that. So you can be creative with those and see what you come up with. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep sewing my, um, my long blocks together here. We're gonna do four of those. Okay, so now we've got all of our pieces sewn. I trimmed off my pieces and we need to iron these back. You're putting that all on the same corner and we're just gonna roll them back, set our seam, roll it back, set and roll, set and roll. All right, so once you get all your pieces ironed, we're ready to put them together in the block. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our pieces and take a background square. You're gonna put them right together just like this. So this long side of the triangle goes against your background square. And we're gonna sew a quarter of an inch right down the side. And we're gonna go to the sewing machine and do that. So here we go, quarter of an inch right down the side. And we just chain piece all of these, one after the other. All right, we've sewed down the side of all of our pieces and we're gonna go ahead and clip those apart and press them open. And I got another one there. We're gonna press all these open. We're gonna press them all to the dark side, although it's not gonna really matter. This is one of those times where, you know, you can just go wild with your pressing. It doesn't matter. <laughs> All right, enough of that wildness. Here we go. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we need to snowball the corner one more time and we're gonna snowball it with a white and we're gonna do it on this side. So again, these are five inch squares. So we're gonna wanna fold these in half diagonally and give us a sew line. And you know, you can draw the line if you want to. A lot of people are way more comfortable drawing the line. It's really up to you. It's just a little faster for me and seems to work just fine. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna snowball all these corners and I'm gonna do the same thing I did before where I sew right on this line right here. And then I'm gonna come back and sew uh, yet another line about a half an inch away for some mystery project that I'm gonna do sometime. <laughs> so let's go ahead and take these over to the sewing machine and sew our last snowball on. Now remember it goes on the bottom half of your colored side. So you know, you, don't, you wouldn't wanna snowball white to white. So we're snowballing on this color side just like this. And let's go ahead and add those on. Again, we're staying right on that line. And I'm just gonna sew through. So, so right here, this is what your block should look like. You got a snowball here and you got a snowball here, and then we get to put them together. Now remember this piece right here is gonna be our pinwheel. So as we start putting them together, we're gonna to stagger these fabrics and we're gonna put them together just like this so that our, our block pinwheels around. There we go. Whew, I almost got lost there. <laughs> and then this one. So see how that happens? It makes a pinwheel with a larger friendship star, so we call it the friendship pinwheel. Then you're just gonna sew this together like a giant four patch, like this. 
and I think I have one of those done over here. So this is the block you get when you're done. It's a great little block. You're going to go ahead and sew your whole packet together. It's going to give you 12 big stars like that. And so what you're going to do is you're going to set them together three across, four rows, and you're just going to sew them straight together. I mean, it's no sashing, no anything, just sewing your stars straight together. You're going to add a five and a half inch border. That's about a yard and a half of border fabric and your quilt's going to be done. And it's going to come out to around 64 by 82. So it makes a great size quilt. So we hope you enjoyed this tutorial on the Friendship Pinwheel from the Missouri Star Quilt Company. All right there. I went down, 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 the flames went higher. All right, let's go.